Hey. Hey. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and enjoy our video. Well, look what came in the mail today. The 123rd Old Home Day uh, Lempster announcement. And look who's in is featured on it. Yes, our in. And also, it's the listing of the agenda for um, of what's going on for that Saturday and Sunday. And if you notice, 9 to 11, there'll be a guided tour here at the Lempster Inn. And at 2 p.m., there'll be a program presented by the Cormier family, family called the Lempster Inn Revisited. So we were asked to um, speak uh, on old home, uh, old home Day weekend, sorry, tongue test twister, and talk about what we're doing here at the Inn and what brought us here and what we're up to and kind of where we're at. And so we'll be sharing that with um, anybody who wants to come out and listen at 2 o'clock on August 13th. Pretty cool. Okay, well the update on the hive situation is that our one little hive went to two, as you know, because we got the swarm. You saw that in the last video. But since then, we've acquired two more hives. A friend of ours here and um, Lempster is moving down south and they had two hives and they sold them to my husband. So now we have quite the little apiary. So right now Makaya wants to check on the swarm to see if the queen is working and doing her thing because if she's not within three weeks, the colony will die. So we need to make sure she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. How's it going, babe? Good so far. So this is the hive. Um, that you remember uh, Solomon and I got together the boxes together for the um, swarm. Honey, you need to use your smoker a little more. Hmm? The smoker. They're all around you, honey. Oh, wow. Some stuff fell out of the smoker. So he's putting it back in. And I don't think it's pretty wise that... Uh, well, little whitey is involved in there. I don't think he'll like it if he gets stung, but he's going to have to learn. Do you want me to come over there and s smoke it? That's okay. So are you looking to locate the queen? Yeah, I got to see if she's laying. Um, because if not, we're going to have problems with this one. Is the queen marked on this one? I believe so, yeah. There's larvae in here. Oh, let me see, babe. I want to show them. You see them? Oh, yeah. That's a really good sign. So that's a good sign. You haven't found the queen yet, though. But it looks like, obviously, there's something going on. Oh, right, the swarm didn't lose the bees. There's the queen. Okay, let's see. Let's show them where the queen is. Can you pull it out so they can see? She's marked. Oh, she's yeah, got she's got the little dot. yellow dot. Let's see if we can... And she's a little bit longer than the rest right, of the bees. Right, she's over here. Right here. I'm trying to pull up, show my finger, but I can't. There she is. Okay, good job, honey. That was quick. There's a lot of cat honey over here. I saw that. Good job, babe. Now, how are the frames doing? Are they all filled out? Are they filling the frames up? They're not. Do you think they're just taking some time because they're, uh... Maybe. So they're not in a hurry, at least, to have more room. I'm going to put that food back on there. Okay. So you're going to put the food back on? And they don't seem that aggressive today. Good, honey. Good job. 
we have a new cover up there and I want to get it primed so we can put that stuff on here. Yeah. Good job on the smoker today. Thanks, babe. Still going really good. I've kind of learned a little a little bit of secret there. This one, and these guys, for some reason, this high, they've tended to build burr comb on the top. Get some of that smoke in the hive. Don't want to smoke them too much. So just checking these guys out. Okay, I did turn this upside down last time to try to prevent them. But and, they're still and it worked. Okay, good. Because there's no burr comb yep, up here none. anymore. Good job, honey. I scraped it and I flipped this over and that's a good thing. Okay, so now why are you looking in here now for today? Just to so see if they were not making think, the bird home? Well, j now, um, since I have the hive open, I'm going to just check on the queen. Okay. This this thing, there's a lot of capped honey on this. A lot of capped honey. This whole frame almost. Almost the entire one. A lot of young bees on here, too. That's a good sign. Let me see. Can we show them? Like that little one right there. I mean, there's there a lot of these are really small. But look at all the cap. Honey. Wow, that is a lot, baby. This frame is super heavy. There must be a lot of honey in there. Oh, there's the queen. All right, coming in. See the yellow dot right there? Yep. There she is. This Good job. And there's is, a lot of baby bees on there. This frame is extremely heavy. Which means it's loaded. And this is the second box. So they've already built out the, the one on the bottom. This is loaded. Good job. So as far as the two hives that you checked tonight, they're both doing really well. Yeah. And then the other two, which is over here, that's a new one. And this one over here is a new one. He's not going to check on them tonight. It's a little late and it's starting to rain. But I've already got two of them. Two of the hives agitated too. So. Yeah. So we'll leave those for tomorrow. We'll leave these ones alone tomorrow. All right, baby, good job. So, Evelyn, what are you doing? Weeding. For what purpose? For the garden. Oh, you're helping me? Why? Because you have a concussion. Because I'm injured? Yes. So you're doing all the heavy weeding. We've been gone. We were in St. Louis for almost a week. And now we are overrun with weeds. And Evelyn has taken on the task of weeding the tomatoes. Is it fun? Yes. Well, since we're out here, I can give you a little tour. The plants are doing really good. Everything's looking great. But the weeds also look really great. So it's a lot of work to do. And I'm still dealing with my uh, concussion. But the plants look really good. So anyway, hi, it's been a while. So I'm just checking in to see what you guys are up to because we're literally missing a whole wall here and I haven't documented it because I've been a little late up. So can you kind of fill us in on what's been happening here? Yeah. Richard and I have been uh, supporting the house. Uh, this would be the soap plate. And as you can see, it's in rough shape, so we have a support here for now. We're going to put a sister beam all the way over to the concrete underneath the shoulder. And we're going to support the house. As you can see right here, This all the concrete that was here is gone, and it's going to pile over there. We were able to pull all that out. So I don't know if we can see it over there, but... One more day's work, and we will be able to remove everything underneath this section of the house and start digging and forming the concrete. So that's kind of what you're doing right now. You're trying to remove this wall so that you're getting it ready to pour the concrete? Yeah, we just, we still have to support this a little bit more. We have to put one more support on the other end that we have a temporary post in like this. And then once we have that done, we can start preparing for concrete. Okay, thank you.
This window was behind the wall, or in the wall, I should say, um, in the little barn area that they were taking out. Probably somewhere down in this area. But it's definitely an original window. And much of the glass right here, it's still here, is very, very wavy. I don't know if it comes across through the video or not, but it's old, thick, and wavy. There's a few other pieces up here. I don't know where we'll be putting this, but we'll be saving it. I should have asked if you were out of the way. I thought it was. <laughs> so that's where that window was, Micah? Yeah. Okay, I just happened to be going by the cemetery and I thought I would come in here and see if I can find the, the um, monument that has Naomi's name on it because I saw the picture that was sent to me from Lynn, but it wasn't a very clear picture, but I saw that there was a white building, which I'm guessing is this one here, behind it. So let's go over here and take a look and see if we can find it. Here's a monument. Lucinda Nichols. Naomi. Right here, guys. Right here. Naomi, daughter, died June 6th, 1835, 23 years old. Here it is. This is what we were looking for. Very quickly found it. So Lucinda died at 82. Let's see what we got on this other side here, Nichols. Troop, Troop Nichols, which was the father of, um, of uh, Naomi. Let's see if what else is on this side. Erastus Nichols. So yes, this is totally a family plot here. Let me get back up so you can see. This is their family plot. These all were people who lived at the inn. Now, Troop, I think, like I said before, I think is the son of Erastus. No, Erastus was Troop's son. I'm sorry. I'm just confused. But he was the son of the builder of the Nichols Inn. I don't know all of the history yet. I haven't really had time to really go through everything. But um, what I do know is that they did indeed live at the inn. And this is their whole grave plot. Many of them are buried here. So that ends the mystery of the grave in the basement. Because there's Naomi, his name right here. That's how you do that? Uh, that's one way. Darren said he, he wants to run the pub down here. Oh, perfect. Watch out for your dress. Yes. Right over here is the good view. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> Best coffee in the world. You can put anything in that cup. He <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, has. <laughs> see, see what the. This is the idea right here. Now this is all open for us to to uh, pull out this foundation and put forms in and pour new concrete. Okay, so this is done. And so, what's the next step right now? Well, the next step uh, is we're gonna we're gonna um, release this jack. We're gonna put another crib stack right here and one in here, and put it, put a support in here so we can take this out and this. And now this whole thing would be open. We can do one pour. Okay. I don't know if you remember from one of our videos, maybe I don't know, a month or so ago. Um, here's our garden, and then Micaiah had another patch rototilled here. Well, as you can see, because we haven't planted in it, it's all grown up. And so, uh, Micaiah really, really wants a pumpkin patch, and if we're gonna ha get it done, it's gotta get in the ground this weekend. So, here we are with a rototiller, and there's Micaiah way out there. He had to go get the gas. But, um, so this is kind of our project for tonight, and, uh, it's gonna be a big project because we're gonna pull all these weeds out. But here's our little pumpkin patch to be, and it's ready. We're just going to make a couple uh, mounds to put our pumpkin seeds in, and throw our pumpkin seeds in it, and she'll be ready to go. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so it'll be perfect timing. So what are you doing, babe? Planting these pumpkin seeds. In a mound? In a mound. What are we going to do with these pumpkins? Well, we'll probably keep some for decoration, but we're going to sell them. Yeah, hopefully we can sell them. Right off our front porch? Yep. In the fall? Yep. That'd On be pretty cool. Stand. That's right. Farm yeah. stand, but we can line our, we could line our, uh, our whole, whole front porch with them. There we go. All right, you're going to do another one four feet away? Another mound? Because you have to put them in mounds, and they have to be about four feet away from each other because pumpkin patches, if you've ever seen them, they grow very long tendrils that will um, grow right out from that mound all over the place. So in order to create room, enough room for all these pumpkins to grow, we need to make sure that the mounds are about four feet apart. And that's what we're doing. Or I should say, that's what Makai is doing. Look at her. What's she doing? She's playing. They want to help you. So all these mounds, I don't know how much they're coming through on the camera, but there's just mounds all over four feet apart. They are loaded with uh, pumpkin seeds. And right now he's planting the last row these particular pumpkins re uh, require a row for whatever reason. So he's planting them in a row. Shirley's pretty dirty. She's been rolling around in the dirt. No, 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 no. Those are not for babies. Sh Shirley, no. No, this is not a game. Shirley, okay, I guess it's a game. Okay. Shirley is filthy and we're trying to get her to come get in the pool with daddy, but here, she Shirley. does not want to go in the pool with daddy. Shirley, come, here. come on, Shirley, go see daddy. Come, come on, on, Shirley. Come on. Wow, this water's cold. I wouldn't want to come in here either. <laughs> come, on. come on, Shirley. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on down. Come on. Come on, Shirley. Come on, Shirley. Shirley, you're so dirty. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Shirley. Come here. Come on. 
Come on, Shirley. Well, Shirley did have her bath, but I couldn't film it because we had to wrangle her into the tub. So all hands are on deck, but she's around here somewhere. There she is. Yes, she's all clean now. Good job, Shirley. Good job. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Till next time. Okay. Hi, honey. Can, hey. you, can you give us a little overview of kind of like the past few weeks just because we've been kind of quiet? Yeah, well, um, of course, ever since your um, head injury, I've had to kind of pick up um, quite a bit of slack. <laughs> Thanks, I mean, babe. <laughs> it, it is what it is, you know, that kind of stuff happens and <laughs> <laughs> not, not being negative about it, just I've had a lot more work on my shoulders as a result. So I've been trying to make progress on the foundation project, which we have. Um, I've got it almost ready to start um, preparing forms for concrete. Um, trying to keep, you know, just day-to-day -day stuff. Lawn mowing, I did a lot of planting and had to re-till the pumpkin garden because we tilled it a little too soon, I think. I think partly too because everything kind of came to a standstill with my um, head injury. Right. Um, but the good news is the bees are producing well. The garden is growing well, um, despite the fact that we haven't really been weeding it in, as much as we probably should. Um, we have tons of peaches on the trees. We have tons of apples. Cherries, apples. The raspberries are growing well. The pear trees have taken. The yep. pear trees are growing. Um, so we couldn't be happier with the way our um, garden and everything is going. Um, but yeah, I've just been like on top of my regular job, having to kind of pick up a lot of extra duties um, until Jackie gets better and then we'll be back. back I mean, I'm still course. dealing with stuff, yeah. unfortunately. It's been one month out, but I'm still kind of dealing with but it. But you're getting better. I am getting better, you know, but it's a slow go for sure. Yeah. Um, but farm stand, hopefully coming soon. Coming in a couple weeks. Or hopefully, or so. yeah. And then we have Old Homes Day, which will be... Right, which we're doing a presentation and a house tour. And we'll have some t-shirts and different things for sale, right? Yep. For that. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. We're, we got a lot more coming. I'm really excited about the foundation project that's going really well. Um, Richard, uh, across the street, been my partner in crime over here. Just been working all day saturday pretty much every week on that so um but yeah just keep uh, keep watching and check out the progress thanks babe